take this and the initial reaction? I, I know you're probably not all read up on Bucknell so far, but what did you think when you see the four seed and, and your path? Uh, I'm just glad we're in Buffalo, get close to home. I don't really know much about Bucknell yet, like you said, but go out and win a game and play another game, probably. Jason, you uh, just happy to be in the tournament. Back same thing, you know, I didn't talk to you last night, but, uh, you know, the mentality of this team right now coming off of the loss yesterday to, to get back on track and, Make a run in the tournament. <clears throat> um, yeah, man, I'm just very excited. And um, we just got to take one day at a time. Uh, Nate, for, for any of the guys, um, in, in the past years that you guys have played in the NCAA tournament, has it ever felt like uh, hitting a reset button in the sense that, you know, it's not a Big 12 team you're getting ready to face, it's a team that you don't know much about, they don't know much about you. It, it, uh, just from all the past experiences, going into the NCAA tournament, does it feel like hitting a reset button in a sense? Uh, yeah, it's a little different going and playing a team you haven't played two or three times a year. You know, you don't really know much about them, so you got to pay attention to your scout a little more. But we got four days to prepare for it, and I think we'll be all right. Nate Tavon said yesterday, and I was talking about it last year, that days like this leading up to Stephen F. Austin were, were not particularly good. What do you remember about that, and, and how do you make sure that you know this go around, uh, whatever was wrong a year ago, is correct? Uh, I just don't think we bounced back from our loss to Kansas like we should have. We were a little lackadaisical, so same thing happened this year. We got to learn from our mistakes last year, and not let it happen again. Nate, you're the only senior up here right now. Uh, <coughs> your mentality headed into this last tournament and the idea that you know, you know if there's another loss, then that's the end of it. Uh, I mean, I just got to play as hard as I can. I don't really have any other choice. I mean, like you said, if I lose, I'm done. So maybe a little more so than other guys, I got to step up and play better. Uh, Javon, along similar lines, uh, for you guys who are still underclassmen, you know, where's your motivation as far as the seniors are concerned to, you know, put something together in this next month? Um, you know, um, it's going to take everybody. We got to go out there and give it our all. Um, this could very easily be my last game playing with Nate and the other seniors, and um, I'm just not looking forward to that being a short route. What do you remember about last year? And, uh, what didn't go well, whether that was the, the week leading up to it or, or the game itself that you guys can learn from? Um, rebounding the free throws, the same thing that hurt us last night. Uh, that's just something we got to uh, do a better job at and we got to take care of the ball. Um, most of our losses, we normally turn the ball over more than our opponent, and that's just something we got to stop doing. Juwan, for like the last month, couple months, you know, you've been battling Juwan Evans, Monte Morris. Frank Mason, so on and so forth. What will it be like for you to, you know, go up against, uh, you know, a different team, different point guard that you've, you know, never seen before, and, you know, to not have to go up against those guys anymore? What's, you know, what's the feeling there like? Um, there's no different. I go out there and I look at my opponent as being the best guard in the country, no matter who they is. So it really don't matter to me. Try to see how they score, how their guards like to score, um, whether they pass first mentality, shoot first mentality, like to go left, right, whether they like to drive, shoot, um, just anything I can find out. I think last year, uh, some of the players talked after the Stephen F game. Uh, Hugs talked about you know bad practices kind of led to what happened last year. So you know, now that you guys have this chance to. Uh, to go back into it this year, the practices leading up to the Bucknell game. How, what do you have to do to make sure that things are different 
this year in that aspect of the practices and the preparation uh, you know, to make sure that you know doesn't history doesn't repeat itself so, so, so to speak. Uh, I just got to think we got to come in and stay focused you can't look past our opponent which honestly we did a little bit last year so we got to come in start preparing for him tomorrow and by Thursday we'll be ready but the way you guys have played some zone lately do you feel like you have multiple ways defensively to win games whereas before it seemed like it was press or nothing now if teams are getting past the press you guys feel more capable in the half court defense than maybe past years especially with sacks checking the rim sometimes oh uh, yeah i'd say we're more comfortable with the thing with that is half the time we score off our defense so if we're not getting steals and scoring it kind of struggle to score like we did this past weekend so got to figure out a different way to score what's the message to the freshmen because you guys have you know half the rotation is new guys what's the message to them going into this because it's always something new right I mean you guys think back to when you were freshmen it was sort of a, a big deal to get to the sweet 16. just play your hardest man um just want to go home you don't have too many mistakes to make out there you can't just be like, oh, my bad, like I made a mistake. You just got to take it one possession at a time and just mean everything. That's kind of what I was asking Nate earlier. Is it possible to approach practices different to, you know, to make sure, you know, same thing that happened as, as last year? <clears throat> yes. Um, like I said, you know, we got to, we got to really, be tuned in mentally and don't let any outside distractions get to us and just focus from here on out. What do you think that is, Dax, to be tuned in mentally? Uh, Tariq, Tavon, they said last year they think you guys maybe dwelled on the loss in the Big 12 championship too much. So is it to zero in and be serious? Do you guys you know, have to, I mean, is, is maybe being focused mentally to kind of loosen up and, and have fun again instead of just sitting there with all that, that, that serious tone, I guess? Um, I think it's different for, it depends on who you are, you know. Um, I'm different than Javon, Javon different from Nate. It just depends on who you are, but I know we just got to limit outside distractions. Anything else for the players? Yeah, on your, on your, on your plane ride back here, I mean, what went through your mind about, about the season and, 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 and the tournament? We just let a championship slip through our fingers for the second consecutive season. One we knew we should have had, just like we should have had it last year. You know, it was it was tough, but um, we got a chance going forward to not let what happened in the NCAA tournament happen again. So whatever we got to do to prevent history repeating itself again, we got to do it. Guys have here now. I think it'll help, you know, get the legs going again, uh, get shots going in again. Will, will it help? I mean, it should help. Uh, playing however many minutes we played in three days isn't easy for anyone, but if you play the way we play, it makes it a little bit more difficult than for most people. So, should help. By that same token, I mean, obviously, it wasn't evident in last year's game, but the idea of like Justin was talking about getting out of league play and playing somebody who hasn't seen you two times prior to the tournament like everybody else in the Big 12. What what do you think that that can be as far as an advantage for this team, just the style that you play? Um, I feel like if we come to play, we can uh, we can cause problems for anybody, whether you've seen us three times, four times, it really don't matter. I don't, we don't really pay too too much attention to that. We just got to go do what we do. Just look at this last month or so that that one three one has become such a big part of the game, but typically it's safe for the later moments to mix it up in the game. Is, is there any thought to bringing that out earlier, or is that something that you think was you know more situational? I don't know what was going on. Um, whatever hugs decide. If hugs want to do it early, we're gonna do it early. If you want to do it late, we're gonna do it late. That's not my call.